and it's Jada and today I'm gonna give y'all volleyball terminology. So some of y'all requested under my how to make your school volleyball team about if I couldn't explain more in depth about the terms I was using. So, you know, today I'm just gonna break it down for y'all. If you see me looking at my phone, it's because I don't know everything off the top of my head so I had to write it down. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a definition and I'm gonna give y'all like an example in game mode like an example that I probably experienced or like an example like you know just a game whatever you know what I mean ace a serve that results directly in a point usually when the ball hits the floor untouched on the receiving team side of the court so basically what that means is say if you know I'm serving the ball to the other team so you know you serve the ball of the net and they didn't touch the ball so it goes between like two players and just hits the ground nobody touched the ball nothing that's an ace because the ball was untouched nobody touched the ball and i served it over so that's an ace assist passing or setting the ball to a teammate who attacks the ball for a kill so basically the setter which is a position the setter who always gets not always because half of the time you don't get perfect passes the setter is the person who's supposed to get the second ball and the hitter normally gets the third ball so the setter sets the ball to the hitter which could be middle outside back row right side whatever they set the ball up and they just attack the ball so they you know hit the ball spike it goes over the net Attack attempt. The attempt by a player to terminate a play by hitting the ball to the floor on the opponent's side. So the same thing as the last one, the setter sets the ball to the hitter and the hitter hits the ball, but the other side blocks the ball and the ball comes back down on your side and hits the ground. That's an, that's an unsuccessful play because it didn't hit the other side, it hit your side. So the other team got the point. So that's just an attack attempt. Attack. The offensive action of hitting the ball. The attempt by one team to terminate the play by hitting the ball to the floor on the opponent's side. So basically, like I said before, the attack attempt. The player spikes the ball, but it's a successful hit. So, you know, your team gets the point because the other team didn't. The other team wasn't able to dig that ball back up. Back row. The three players who court position is near the baseline. So in volleyball, but yeah, so back row is the back three players. So one, six, and five. Those are the back row players. Back row attack. When a back row player takes off to jump behind the 10 foot line and attacks the ball. So basically say if I play outside, but outside could play middle back, which is position five. So I'm back row. I can't cross the line between front row and back row. So if I go to make an attack and like a play, I can't cross that line. Maybe when I go to pass the ball, like when you pass the ball, you can't. But when you jump off the floor, you can't pass that line. So I could be hitting from middle back, but I just can't cross the 10 foot line and attack it to the other side. Back set. A set delivered behind the setter. A set made when the setter's back is towards the hitter. So basically, the setter and right side is like the same position but not really like it's not the same position but you know they do like the same thing except right side don't set but they're like in the same spots so right side and setter has to be across from each other depending on how the play is i can't really speak for it like if, you know so the setter could be like setting either middle so the setter's front row the right side's back row so if you're behind that line and you're getting ready to go and attack the ball the setter can set the ball behind them. They don't have to set it in front of them to middle or outside. They can set it behind their heads. So basically, some people turn around and set to the right side, but most people don't do that. They set behind them. So basically, say if I'm setting this way, if I set this way, I'll be setting towards middle and outside. But if I set behind me like this, then it's just right side. So that's a back row set. Is You're just setting behind you to the right side. Block. A defensive play by one or more front row players meant to intercept a spike ball. So, basically a block is when the other side is attempting to spike the ball and then you jump up in the air and you block the ball. So when you block the ball, you block it like, you know, 
you gotta keep your hands together because if you keep your hands like this the bowl could go right through your hand if you keep your hands like this the bowl is definitely gonna go like right to your face so if you keep your hands like you know like block it like you know like that the bowl is not gonna go through your hands so if a middle is hitting a ball the middle just jumps out of itself and block the ball if a right i can't think of like both sides but say if a ball is being hit right in front of outside middle and outside jumps together to block the ball and if someone's hitting the ball towards the right side of the setter's position middle and right side of the setter blocks the ball boom descriptive slang for forearm passing so basically a bump is just basically like if the ball's coming towards you you keep your hands when you pass you just pass like this so if the ball's just coming towards you you know you just just hit the ball up that's a bump center line the boundary that runs under the net and divides the court into two equal halves. So basically, you have the net, the line is literally right under the net. So no side can touch that line, hit the line, whatever, because you're going to get a foul, whatever you guys want to call it, a call on it, whatever. So don't cross that line. So basically, it just separates the two teams, and it's just for the net, you know. Cover the hitter. A lot of teams don't cover, though, seriously. To prepare to retrieve rebounds from the opposing blockers. So basically, if outside is hitting, right? So the person behind outside should be moving up towards short. Middle back should be moving, like staying in the center so they could go either or. The middle front should be like turn to outside ready to bump the ball. Deep away from the net toward the baseline so basically your coach could say serve deep pass deep hit deep that basically means that back row and when most people hit deep they want to hit corners because when you hit corners it's hard for a player to get corners but say if you keep hitting to the middle like anybody could really hit the middle wall so deep is just back row and then most people say deep corners because the right or left because it's hard for players to get corners so that's what they mean by deep like far because players gotta actually run to get the ball dig passing a spiked or rapidly hit ball so basically so the outside spikes the ball to the opponent and then one of the players like say if the ball is like right to the floor almost the player digs the ball so that means it's just really coming really fast and they're able to bump the ball back in the air so instead of saying bump they call it digging because it was like not an easy pass dink a one-handed soft hit into the opponent's court using the fingertips so basically it's like it's not tipping because tipping is when you like you go like that dink is like you basically tipping is very hard so you tip like that with one hand dink is like very softly you know doubles a game with two players on a side so basically, most coaches do this during practice, doubles. And doubles help you to like move around more. So like when you're going to call with six players, you're not going to depend on the other five people to do like everything. You're going to like still move, regardless if it's two players or six players on the court. So doubles is like two against two, basically. That's it. A lot of coaches say, let's do doubles, let's do threes, down ball. Refers to the blockers who neither jump nor raise their hands above the net. So basically, it's like serving, but you're not jump. Okay, it's like serving. So when my team does down ball, it's like you know, you're where outside hits and you just toss the ball and you just hit it. So you toss it with the same hand and you hit it down with the same hand. You're not jumping. You're not getting it off the set. Nothing. So that's normally down ball. I know other teams could probably do it differently, but on my school team and my club team, it was. A down ball drill, it was the same. Floater. A serve with no spin that follows an erratic path. The ball is hit with only a momentary point of contact and very little follow through. So basically, to break it down, you toss the ball and you you don't hit the ball all the way through. Like you hit the ball like right here. So the ball goes and it could go anyway. So that that serve is like really hard to learn though, but it confuses like a lot of like people. Like, it confuses the opponents because they're ready to get the ball. So, a lot of people just, like, hit, like, one place. But, it's, like, a lot of people don't really hit folders. I mean, unless you're, like, pro or whatever. 
but like in school a lot of people don't really do that so if you hit like that the ball is gonna go like this like zigzag and like you gotta really be you know and the ball could drop anywhere like people you know when you're gonna hit deep you know when you're gonna hit short but the ball could go anywhere follow to move with and block an attacker so basically coaches may say go follow or outside follow middle whatever so say if the ball's coming and it's like about to go out but not out it's about to drop to the line so labert was going to run and get the ball so outside and right side should be running to follow the little barrel so if they pass it you don't know where the ball's gonna go so they could pass it back over successfully so that's what coaches mostly mean by follow is like if the ball is going anywhere you need to follow like where the ball is going every single time if it's not a perfect play free ball returning the ball to the opponent without the intent to get a kill so basically say if the ball was an unsuccessful play by say if the pass wasn't a perfect pass to the center which was a perfect set to the hitter and the hitter successfully tapped you know you're not gonna get that all the time up to 25 points not all the time so basically it's giving the ball easy to the other side so the player could go like this and then turn their body in like move like basically throw the, not throw the ball but like pass the ball over the net so that's a free ball like you're just giving the ball to the other side because you don't want it probably in the rally or just wasn't a perfect play so you just free it over front row three players whose court position is near the net so basically the front row is four three two hit to jump and strike the ball with an overhand forceful shot so yeah like spiking just spinning the ball over jump serve the server uses an approach toss takeoff and serves the ball with a spiking motion while in the air so basically like you like this is how i jump serve so you know whatever i run like i jog a little i jog like two steps then i throw the ball up then i run and then i jump and then i hit the ball over that's how i jump serve but like everybody does it differently kill an attack that results directly in a point or side out so basically the hitter hits the ball and it touches the ground so automatically kill because you know you got the point hit the ground line straight ahead sideline attack so basically coach could be like hey hit line so line is the line like right in front of you middles don't really hit line like that because they could but they really don't say middle but outside and right sides mostly hit line because the line is like right in front of them pancake one hand floor defense technique where the hand is extended and slid along the floor palm down while the player dies or extension rolls so that the ball bounces off the back of the hand so basically say if the ball is coming and it's like really too low to like pass it anything dig it whatever you run to the floor so let me do it <sighs> i don't do pancake because you can see how tired it makes me quick set an extremely low vertical set used to beat the opponent's box so basically this necessarily goes for middle you set the ball you give the middles a one or a two your team can use multiple names but normally it's one or two or it's quick or two so basically quick is basically when you set the ball lower than usual like you set it right above the net so the player just hits it like quickly but normally a two is like you set up a little higher like up in the air so it takes time so people really know what you're doing like the players can react faster but versus when you're doing a quick it takes some like they don't really know what's happening like because it's like so fast so that's a quick you gotta really be like quick with it like you gotta run quickly to hit a quick serve one of the six basic skills used to put the ball into play so basically you back roll you know they're waiting for the play to start because when you serve the ball over that's when the rally starts you serve the ball over set the tactical skill in which a ball is directly to a point where a player can spike it into the opponent's court so you set the ball up the outside middle right side goes and hit the ball shank severely misdirected pass so say you know the ball's a hitter no Say if the ball was like free balled over, right? And then like you try to pass the ball, but you just swing your arm so madly that the ball went and hit the ceiling. Or 
you meant to pass it to the center, but it ended up going out. That's a shame because, you know, it wasn't a good pass at all. Spike. Also hit or attack. A ball contact is forced by a player on the offensive team who tends to terminate the ball on the opponent's floor or of the opponent's blocker. So basically, you're just attacking the ball, hitting, you're all the same thing. Touch. A player contacting the ball. So basically, your, your coach could be like, so say if you... Most of the time, it's doing drills. So say if you like bump the ball, but like you didn't do like successfully, a coach, your coach could be like, good touch or say if like one of the like say your teammate was supposed to block the ball but the ball was coming down to the ground you went and you tried to do the pancake and you at least tried to get the ball up but it didn't happen your coach is going to probably say good touch like at least you went to go touch the ball or you tried wing the defensive players in areas five and one so basically say if you're middle right and you're going to go block the ball your coach may say the wings need to move and cover so the wings would be outside instead of rights or whoever's in that position. And you cover, like, the wings, you know. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.